All right, we're going to look at bearings and compass headings. You've already, we've already talked about this uh, a little bit in the previous notes on angles in standard position, but we're just looking at these applications a little bit more closely here. So just a reminder, bearings are um, an angle that's given in reference to going north. So you basically start facing north, the, bear, the angle that is given to you, you rotate clockwise uh, around from the north direction. When it's given to you, it's always going to be given in three digits, even if the angle is less than 100. So for example, in this diagram here, you can see that um, due east is 90 degrees, but there's a zero in front. That's also kind of a hint to you that it's a, a bearings. Um, so that's why there's three zeros here when it talks about what the angle is as a bearing. Then compass headings. So you need to remember your north, south, east, west. And basically it's given in uh, uh, direction, then an angle and a direction. So whatever that first direction is, that's your st starting direction. And then based on that angle you rotate, towards the second direction. Um, so here's some examples here. Uh, you could go north 66 degrees east. That represents this angle here with the um, red arrow. Okay. Now you could also go east. What would that be? Um, 24 degrees north and that would have the same uh, direction to it. Oftentimes, I think in in um, in navigation, they'll try to put north and south first, as opposed to east and west, unless it's really close, it's closer to east and west. Um, okay, so let's do some practice here. So it says express each direction as an angle in standard position, where the angle is between zero and three sixty. So you want to you could do a little uh, grid or not a grid, uh, axes, X and Y axis, where really the y, positive Y is your north, south, and then east and west. So I'll do a different color here um, for this direction. So I want to be facing east, oh, facing east. So that's the direction at, uh, basically for at the origin standing there. Sorry, I'm just going to move that up a little bit. Okay, and then, um, so we're facing that way, and then we rotate 25 degrees south. Okay, so that's approximately where you would end up. And then this would be 25 degrees in here. Okay, that's just the measure uh, of that reference angle. So basically, and this will always be a reference angle. Hmm, shouldn't say that always. If it's with east or west to start, then it will be a reference angle. Um, then we want to state what this angle, this terminal arm would represent if we gave this as a um, uh, angle in standard position. So I'm going to change actually, sorry, I gotta change that first to red. Okay, so then what angle goes from here all the way around to there? Well, this one's pretty pretty uh, straightforward because it's going to be 360 minus 25 degrees. So that's going to be 335 degrees will be this angle there. Okay, next one, same deal. Do an north, south, east, west. Then we're going to um, face south, okay? And then we're going to have to uh, rotate. Oh, I just want to move that whole thing there. Uh, we're going to rotate from there uh, 62 degrees towards the west, okay? So probably something like that. So in terms of um, this angle, based on, on our 
uh, compass headings. This is 62 degrees. What we're asked to do is find an angle in standard position. So we want to draw our initial arm. And then what is this angle from here to here? Well, think about it. Uh, this angle will be 90 minus 62. So that's 70, that's 28 degrees. That's the reference angle as well. And so uh, our standard position angle, we'll call it theta. I didn't over here, but we'll call it theta. So theta will equal 180 plus that reference angle. So that's going to be 208. Okay. Now, given these bearings, as uh, directions, we want to find an angle in standard position. So again, draw um, here, we want to draw north, south, east, west as, uh, again, uh, but these bearings go with reference to north. So basically I'm going to draw this and then I'm going to take this and rotate it 23 degrees, always clockwise. Okay, so that means this angle in that's I just rotated through um, will be 23 degrees. And we want to find the angle in standard position. So we have to have, oops, our initial arm there. And so this angle that's rotating is going to be, so that's going to be theta, it's going to be 90 minus 23. Um, and so that's what, 67 degrees. Okay, same with the next one. Actually, oops, that's a little crooked. I can do all of these just to get them ready. And here, I'm just going to fix this. And so um, this one, starting north. Oops, uh, give me a sec here. So starting north, and we're going to rotate that 300 degrees, okay, clockwise. So that's 180. 270 and 300. So about there. So that angle that I just drew goes from here to here and that was 300. Okay. We want the angle in standard position. So starting there and so What's this angle to here? Well, if, if that angle 300 ends at that terminal arm, it's 270 to the horizontal. So that means uh, this angle, the reference angle of this would be 30 degrees. So this angle in here is 30 degrees. And so now um, the angle in standard position that's equivalent to this would be 180 minus that reference angle, which is 150 degrees. Okay. Now, next one, express each angle in standard position as a bearing. So we're going the opposite. So we're given an angle in standard position. So draw it first. So initial arm here. Terminal arm negative 78 would be about there. So we would be um, the actual angle. Oops. Here, this is negative 78. As a bearing, then we want to make reference to the vertical. Okay. Uh, so north all the way to this angle here. So that's more than 90, and then it's 78 more than 90. So the bearing would be equal 90 plus 78, 
We never use negatives with bearings, and so that's 168 degrees. Next one, so set up your initial arm and your terminal arm. Well, you have to go 360 as a complete rotation, and it's a little bit more than that. So it's going to be there. So that means uh, what's the difference basically is 360 minus, sorry, 375 minus 360 is 15 degrees. So this is 15 degrees. That's your reference angle. The actual angle of three, uh, 375 is this one, right? So now our bearing, so compared to going north, and now we're going to the terminal arm. Well, that's going to be, so our bearing here, it's 90 uh, in quadrant 1 minus 15. So 90 minus 15 is 75, but as a bearing, we put a 0 in front of it. So 0, 75 degrees. Okay. Next one, express each angle in standard position as a compass heading. So again, we're starting angles in standard position. So I'm going to just quickly do my x, y axis. Okay, then draw your angle in standard position. So here, and then 235. So. Uh, 180 is directly across, 270 is down, so it's somewhere in between, so something like that. Um, so this angle is 235 degrees, okay? Then um, we want a compass heading. So you can decide whether you're going to say south, west. So remember, this is west, west, and this is south. Or you can go west, south. Probably you would do compared to north and south first, so south. So what's this angle in here? Well, let's find the reference angle of this. So the reference angle, so we can say theta reference, is 235 minus 180. So that's 55 degrees, so that's this angle here. Okay, so then um, what's the difference between that and 90? So 90 minus 55 uh, is 35 degrees. So therefore this would be south 35 degrees west. Or from here you could go west 55 degrees south. Basically, if these add up to 90, then you can switch the order of the directions. So next one, 750. So remember, it's a good idea to subtract 360 just so you know where this is going to end up. So that's going to be what? 690 minus 3 is 390. Okay. Uh, so still more than a rotation, so I'm going to subtract another 360 is 30 degrees. So my initial arm is here. Then I'm going to go a complete rotation twice and end up at 30 degrees. So when I show that spiral, basically, oh, it's still there. So I'm going to go here all the way once, all the way twice, plus 30 degrees. So the reference angle is 30. Uh, remember, this is north and this is east. You would never make reference to this with south and west because it's more than 90 degrees. So now, right away, I know I could say east, 30 degrees north. Or if I wanted to use north first, this would be 90 minus 30, which is 60 degrees. So you could say north, 60 degrees east. Okay. 
and a few more examples on the next part here. Okay, it says a boat travels with a bearing of 48 degrees, then turns and travels 314 degrees. What angles form between the two legs of the journey? So you're going to have to draw two um, XY axes, or north-south, east-west axes. So I'm going to start here, okay, just little ones, and then 40, a bearing of 48 degrees. So, so here, bearings compared to north. Now, a 48 means I'm going to rotate 48 from there. So, and then you can just ex extend it up a little bit. Then I'm going to do another, from here, another coordinate and make sure that that bearing is, is uh, ending at the origin of that one. And then it turns and travels with a bearing of 314. So now, again, starting north, bearing of 314. Well, there's 270. Okay, so it's more than that. So 270 is 44. So it's about there. Okay. And so we need to figure out what angles form between the two legs. So we are looking for this. Okay, so really there's two angles in there. Some of the things that you have to remember. So let's go back and label some of these angles. So this was um, a bearing of 48. So something to remember back from junior high math is north-south is always north-south. So those are parallel. So if we drew what we call a transversal to there, um, then this angle 48 is going to be the same as this angle here of 48. And so we can subtract that from 90 to get this part of the angle. So here, this little bit here is going to be 90 minus 48. So that's going to be 42 degrees. And then this one here, okay, well, let's think about uh, it was 314 all the way around. Okay, so really we want to, so this is going to be um, 314 minus 270. That's going to be 44 degrees in there. So what angle is formed by the two legs of the journey will be 44 plus 42 degrees. Okay, so that is 86 degrees. Okay. Next one, another application. Sarah leaves her house and travels. So now we're using compass bearings or compass notation. So here, uh, or compass headings, I guess we say. Uh, again, I'm going to do a grid like that. North 38 degrees east. So then think about going north and then rotating. 38 degrees east, so something like that. And then, so that's for Sarah. Molly also leaves the house, so they're at the house is here at the origin and travels from there as well. So now I'm going to, um, oh, did that, sorry, forgot to change the color on that one. Okay, so. Now Molly is going east to start uh, 75 degrees south. So kind of like that. And it says what angle is formed between them. So we're trying to find this. Okay. So um, what's kind of nice about this is in compass headings, they all relate to 90 degrees. So this one here based... Uh, so here, this is 38, um, and so that means this angle in here is just 90 minus 38. 
so that's 52. And then east, 75 degrees south, well, that is the angle. So angle between them. is just the sum of those two angles. So what is that? 127. Okay. And the last one, two boats leave the same dock. Okay, so again, we're going to draw our little grid here. So boat A travels north five degrees west. So north, five degrees west would be like that, okay? Boat B, so they're both leaving from the same place, travels south, 75 degrees east. So um, um, sorry, and then south, drives me nuts that it doesn't keep the same. Color. Okay, so um, south, and we want to, the boat B is going south 75 degrees east. What angle is formed between the two paths of the boat? So we'll take the, the smaller of the two angles, so between them this, this way. So this is what we're looking for here. Okay, so what do we know? We know that if we're going north 5 degrees west, then this angle in here is 5 degrees. Uh, this obviously is 90 degrees in there. And then what's this angle here? Well, it was um, south 75 degrees east. So this angle will be 90 minus 75, which is 15 degrees. So what angles form the angle formed will be 5 plus 90 plus 15. So that's 20 plus 90 is 110. Okay, so that gives you a bunch of examples on bearings and compass headings. All right, so we're done.